I can now um, go to questions. Okay. Okay, we have a lot of questions, so let's just dive in. Um, okay, so Greg says, compared to using WordPress without Divi, would you say Divi's value is in the row and column structure, making it easier to build and customize, or does the value come from the variety of layouts and the support you get, or just a combination of all of it? It's really a, a combination of all of it. So let okay. me let me bring up my okay. So um, this is my site, right? My recipe site. This was my student's site, and then the um, website creation workshop, and then here's my blog. This is using the Divi extra theme, which is you built in, you get it with it, and it just has this, it's more designed for bloggers, for having a blogging layout. Okay. Hopefully I answered that Great. question. And then Jennifer um, had just checked with Divi support on the renewal question, and it, it is correct. If you don't, if you're on the annual and you don't renew, the plugin and theme will still work, but there are no updates and no support. Right. So, so that's what you're for that. paying for. I mean, yes. you know, think of, again, think about what it would cost you to build something like this. Like, you know, what would it cost Natasha if she hadn't done this herself to hire someone else to build her site? So the $67 is like a dinner out and you pay that per year. Sherry was asking, do you know if you can use the AI-generated images outside of your website? So if you use Divi AI to create an image, could you use it on your newsletter or flyers, etc.? That is a good question, and I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer to that. Let me go to drinks. Okay. I would, I would imagine you could because it was an image that you created. I would so. imagine you could. Because that would make sense to me, that right. you could use it outside. Okay. Um, Jerome says, in terms of ease of navigation for the user who arrives at my site, is the Divi theme easy for a user to navigate? Okay, so how you navigate your site, that's that's kind of up to you or up to the layout that you might pick, right? So like how I put my menus together, that, um, that was really up to me. So if you, if you come, if you pick, like let's say you pick business coaching services, maybe you're a business coach, you know, here you have a make an appointment and here you have an about me so the design will help you like, oh, that's a good idea. And, oh, here's a book, your complimentary consultation. But how you put together your top menu is really up to you. So here she has hers like this. Mine I'm having to, I just logged in. That's why we can see the top. But I have a top uh, toolbar. So the me menu is really up to you. Okay. Yeah, and Stephen mentioned that the, he said the images created through Divi are copyright free, so you could use them anywhere. But um, okay, that's great to know. That's what I thought. Yes. That that makes sense because if Divi is going to let me use all these images that that come with their designs, so let's say you picked business coaching, you could keep this photo. If you like the way it looked, you would probably replace this with your own picture, but you could keep some of these. And most of your clients won't know that it was a Divi, it was an image that came from a Divi design. Okay. Um, Jean was asking, how does support assist, if any, with other plugins such as MemberPress? Can you ask that? One more time. Yes, Jean says, how does support assist, if any, with other plugins such as MemberPress? 
I'm guessing that um, it's going to work with most other plugins, like we use Wishlist Member. So, you know, the purpose of Divi support is to help you with your Divi site, not, you know, not necessarily troubleshooting other things. I've actually never asked them about that. One of the things that's oh, nice okay. about when you get Divi, let me get logged in. Um, wait, I'm logged in over here. There's an area inside that if you need them to come into your um, area, if you need them to go inside of, to your site, there is a... Um, I think it's yeah. under um, in the support center. Yeah, there's the support center, and then you can turn this on remote access, and then they can come into your site and help you. But that's mainly if something's not working. You know, it's it's you know I teach how to build WordPress sites, and I teach I go more into depth on how to use Divi. But if you need their support, they can remote access in. Okay. And I believe now we've had a, a few people write in and say that, yes, if you create an image with Divi AI, it's royalty free and you can use it for other things. Yeah, that's good. As well. Um, Joel, the support is free unless you pay for Divi um, VIP, which I really don't think you, you, you don't need to pay for that. It's an upcharge. Right. So that's if you want an answer in 30 minutes. So if you can wait 30 yes. minutes, you can save money. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn says she purchased Divi during the summer sale, and she doesn't remember the login information. Do we need to create an account once we have purchased? Um, she is in uh, the website creation workshop. Okay. So if you... I'm going to put this in the chat again. So this is my link for Divi, christinasresources.com forward slash Divi dash Cyber Monday. I think if you go just to Divi, you'll get there as well. Just go there and then click on the account and then you can log in. And Jocelyn, if you don't know your login information, there should be like a forgot password, forgot username or something. Exactly. And you can reach out to their support team as well. Yeah. If you need help uh, getting in there. Okay. Um, so Natalie says she has a very dense site currently, and it's well known. Um, but she wants to refresh it. She's not techie. And she's found the presentation a little bit zooming around, and she got a little bit lost and intimidated. So she's wondering if you think she could learn this. All right. That's probably because I went a little fast. So that's just me, Christina, clicking my screen around quickly. I can do it more slowly if that would help you. So the fact that I moved a little bit fast, and I apologize, and thank you for letting me know. Um, that's why I like to teach with PowerPoint, because I go a little mm -hmm. bit slower than when I'm on the web. I go a little bit faster. So my goal was to explain what you need to buy and what you can skip. So it's not Divi.com. Okay. It's Christina's resources, if you could give... Uh, Barbara, Christina's. Yes. But for yeah. Natalie, you know, for a non-techie, do you think, like, they could make a email build a website with Divi? Yes, if you, now, let's go to, if you don't know WordPress at all, like if you don't have a website at all, I would uh, go to websitecreationclass.com you're going to learn the foundation of working with WordPress. So I would sign up. I'm going to be teaching a class in January. So Divi, there's so much you can do with it. You may, you know, you don't want to get overwhelmed. So if you under, if you don't understand the basics of a WordPress site, you'll probably want to join me in my January workshop. OK. 
Okay. Now, Heather says Natalie can learn this. I did, but it takes time and commitment. It takes time and commitment. So let me just show you what I mean by time and commitment. So on my recipe website. So here's the home page. And this just has a lot of different items on the home page. And the what takes time is deciding, okay, I think I'll have a page for main dishes. I think I'll have a page for salads and side dishes and desserts and drinks and then restaurants. So I only, I've only have a few restaurant reviews, so I like to review restaurants. Um, but a lot of building a website is about how are you going to organize things. And in the website creation workshop, which I'm going to be having a class in January, it really teaches you the sort of foundation of putting it together. Then what Divi does is just make your site look like a designer did it. So I hope that's answering the question. And with Natalie asking about that, she just says she learned a lot. She just wants to know that she's capable of doing this. And I read you what Heather said. Diana said non-techies can easily learn from Christina's workshop. Um, Penny wrote in, I'm completely not a techie, and I'm creating an incredible website using Divi. Uh, Christina's course is amazing. I had zero previous experience creating a site. And Jerome also said, I'm about as non-techie as it gets. If I can learn this from Christina, I am certain. I, I certainly am learning a ton, then she can do it. No sweat at all. Yeah, in so, my it, Natalie, I hope that helps. Yeah, in my course, not everybody um, uses Divi, so you don't, you know, you don't have to use Divi. Like this gal didn't use Divi, so this today's call is about the Divi theme and helping you understand what you can do with it. Um, Judith, who's an author who's non-techie, she used Divi. She picked a Divi design, but look how simple her site is. It really only has an opt-in box. It has no menu. See, this is her book, and you can click to order the book, and then it's about her. So she basically built this as a landing page, and there's no other pages on it. So there's just a lot of different things you can do. You don't have to have a ton of um, menu items. Right, it's up, it's up to you. See, she has a top menu, and then she has this menu with drop-downs. Um, um, what she did is, yeah, she just has a top menu, but she doesn't have a top thin menu. Like this gal who's a childbirth educator. Yeah, Judith's site is really streamlined. So she's keeping it really simple. I think she's building more pages on the back end, but she's keeping it like this for, um, you know, for now. Okay. Um, Christina, Penny put in her site. Did you want to show it off? She kind of gave her mm -hmm. services page along with the pottery layout that she was pulling from. Yeah, can you... Um, we put it in, in the, the chat. chat for you. Yeah. Let me. We've had so many questions come in, so there's a lot to uh, sift through. But okay. there you go. So there's her site and then the. Okay. Why don't I. Um, oh, I see. The layout. That's the layout. And then did you also give her. I did. It's right above the. Um, let me put it in again for you. Yeah, right here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so this is one of my students, Penny, and she's using this pottery layout. So let me pick this. Let me just find the page. So I'm going to put this in the chat. I want to save that. Okay, so here is, where did she go? So she used this pottery layout. 
Is that what Just she's... for her services page. Just for her services page. Okay. For her services page. And which pottery layout? Sorry, I guess I clicked away. I think it was not the same. Services pottery layout. Maybe she can um, classes. I think she said there's just a lot of uh, a lot of chat to go through. Um, Penny, did you type it in? I think you did. She did the rest from scratch. And um, the, the sale is going on at least through this week, I think into next week. So don't feel stressed that you have to decide today. Um, and then right. you can use it. So let me, I'm going to show you how, this is not the best example, ChristinaHills.com. So right now, ChristinaHills.com is not using the Divi theme. It's using Hestia. But I have a link tree that's using a very simple um, Divi. That's not the best example. So you can mix and match. You can use it on part of your site. So if you have a theme that you like, but you want, and this was songs question. So she's using the Sydney theme. You can switch your whole site to Divi or you could just use one page of it. So Joanne, I'm going to let you guide me. I would love to try to show. Let's answer some more questions and maybe I can do another Divi AI yes. demo. Okay. okay. Yes, there are, we've had a lot. We haven't even scratched the surface. So okay. thank you everyone for your patience. Um, so Barbara says she wants to get the lifetime version of the sale this weekend. I think that's what that is. Um, how does she find where to purchase the lifetime or to upgrade to the life? Upgrade? She wants to upgrade or I don't, purchase? I don't know if it's upgrading or purchasing. Okay. She just wants the lifetime version. All right, so you open up a browser. You go to christinasresources.com forward slash Divi Cyber Monday. If you could put that in the chat. Now, this is my affiliate link. It's going to cost you the same. It just gives me a few extra brownie points. And then you come here and she wanted to get the upgrade. She wants the lifetime, but I'm I'm not sure if it's upgrading or or just okay. purchasing it. So outright. if you want to purchase it brand new, you click claim this offer, and then down here there's this little toggle. If you can see on my screen, you toggle to lifetime, and you pick the 187, and then you click sign up today, and you will. It's going to ask you if you want these other things. You can decide if you want them or not. The only thing I might consider is Divi AI. I wouldn't bother with Cloud, VIP, or the Teams. Unless you're an agency, but I'm not guessing there's going to be any agencies on my call today because I teach to non-techies. And so then you put in all your info and you pay 187 one time. So that's if you never had it before. If you already have it, you scroll down and this is an upgrade or a renewal. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, thank you for showing that. She just typed in clarifying that she does already have it. It's just, um, I guess, upgrading okay. from the annual to lifetime. Um, Maggie has a great question about how many units are left. Okay, so this is the part that's confusing. This is part of why I'm doing the um, the this call today. All right, so let's let's open a new browser and go to christinasresourcescom forward slash divi dash cyber monday. 
and let's say I just want the cheapest thing I'll click claim this offer now what this means by 143 units left that means there's 143 units left of this free prize so the free this is why it's confusing this free prize which is Divi flash you'll get when you purchase so if you wait till tomorrow or later today it's going to be a different prize if it were me I wouldn't worry about the prize unless you want to be glued to your computer and then every couple hours see if you like a different <laughs> prize I just I don't think it's worth it um, so Divi flash I don't know what this prize does but there's going to be other prizes so when this okay. says sold out this is like the free gift that um, comes with it all right so you can see powerful tools for Divi pros I don't know how useful that is I don't know what all these things are Divi menus I don't think you really need that so these are just extra like free bonuses which you might use or you might not use Divi blog extras Divi mega I don't know what those are so this might be this is what's now available and there's 143 remaining okay, okay. Yeah. Maggie says that makes sense yeah it's just you. a free prize it's just a free prize and Maggie was also asking, like, she said she doesn't mind paying. And she realizes that we really like Divi and are recommending it. But she said it feels like a gamble to jump straight into Lifetime, but an unnecessarily expensive to just pay for the year. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, this is what I would do. I would pay for the $67. And then later, if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade, you know, next year when they have their sale. But I know some people are like, yeah, I've had it for a while. I love it. So I'm going to pay for the lifetime. And others are like, I'm not so sure yet. So I think I paid for the year and then I upgraded. Okay. Um, Catherine was asking, do you have to choose a layer or can you just use the underlying blocks, I guess, and build it from scratch? You could build it from scratch. Okay. And Penny was asking, does Divi AI replace the need or knowledge for CSS code? Uh, CSS code is, for knowledge. It's, is different. Okay. I think I saw somewhere that they had an AI for that, but yeah, they have so much stuff. <laughs> right. Robert was asking, can I subscribe to Divi AI for a month, make my images, and then like cancel the subscription I'm I'm guessing you can but I, I okay I'm guessing you can I think somebody else said that you get to keep them so okay yeah so you might want to that would that's an option um, so here's an example this is inside my website marketing workshop and I, I believe I built this from scratch it's very very simple so I didn't I didn't use Maybe I started with a layout, but it's pretty much from scratch. I don't, okay. I don't so think Catherine I did. Yeah. Can do that from yeah, you don't okay. have to. Um, Eliza says, are there DB layouts for environmental websites? Are there layouts for nonprofits? I'm specifically looking for wetlands design. So as I mentioned, there is a lot of you know you might want to use the farmers market layout but you you don't have to stick with what your business is so I would guess if you selected community and nonprofit you might find something you like but you can put your own pictures in as well so here's the farmers market um, crowdfunding chess club this is one for a nonprofit here's environmental so view live demo view live demo so view live demo 
So here's this um, environmental nonprofit. So if you like the way this looks and you want to just use your own images, you can do that. Here's this one has more illustrations. So this might be more to suit your style. And then here's farmer's market. So you could swap out your own pictures. Okay. Now Heather was asking if Divi AI does text translation or is it only images? It also does text. So let me let me go in here and I'm going to make another image. I've actually I think it does text in multiple languages too. Is that correct? I think I saw that. Uh, Somebody was asking I haven't about tried it. Doing it in French. Um I haven't tried it. So I'm going to I'm going to okay. let me so let me, this is inside. So I'm looking at the back end. And let me open this. I've got a lot of menus open. And do tell me if I'm going too fast. So Joanne, I'm just going to do this and then we can come back to other questions. Okay. So I'm going to make another Mai Tai image. So I'm going to, now I work on the back end. You can also work on the front end. I like to work on the back end. So I'm going to type an image. And now because I have Divi AI, this little AI icon shows up. So I'm going to click on it, generate with AI. Now I have not tried generate automatically. And I can pick a different style. So do I want a photo or a drawing or 3D? Why doesn't somebody call out anime? Let's, if somebody just tells me which one they want me to try. I've only tried the watercolor and the photo. I don't think I've done these others. Painting. Diana says painting. She okay. got it in first. Digital painting. Okay, so digital painting. And then I'll describe my tie. Um cocktail in a tall glass uh, on, let's see, I had on the beach. On a table? On a with table. The beach in the background? On a wooden table with the beach in the background. Now I don't have a reference image, but you could upload a reference image. And I'll just keep it square and I'll click generate. So now it's thinking. Again, I've paid for the Divi AI, so I paid for that add-on. And so it's now thinking. And so here's what it looks like. This is partially why I like the um, watercolor, because it looks a little less fake. but. This one looks nice, so I could click Generate Four More, and it'll give me four more ideas. So you're just waiting for it. So now I have all these different ideas, and you know, not sure which one is the best. So maybe I'll pick this, and then I'll say use this image. So now it's going to use it. And I will click check. So that's my AI image. I'll click update. So what I'm doing now won't make sense to people unless you're already using. Um, unless you're already using Divi. So I but I just wanted to show this part of, and let me come over here and click on refresh. All right, so this, they're calling this a digital painting. Boy, it looks like a photo to me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I wonder if you can then change it to improve with AI. Reimagine. I've never tried this reimagine. 
just change style. Change style. That's what you were thinking of. So, cartoon. Somebody else said anime. Oh, okay. I picked cartoon. So, if you've used Mid Journey, oh, I think I like this one. Um, use this image. So, if you've used Mid Journey, I think Mid Journey is a lot harder, and this is already inside your website. And click update. I know people are asking about text, and I haven't yes. I haven't done text. All right, so I think I replace this. Probably should have duplicated it. Yeah, so I replaced it. So now it's a cartoon. You know, I kind of like the cartoon. Yeah, yeah it's cute. cute. Now let me see if I duplicate this. Uh, you know, we need to get back to the other questions. I mean, I could spend. <laughs> yeah, we could have fun with this for hours. Um, change Did you want to do anything with the text? Um, yeah, I know somebody was asking about it. With the in, text. In a different language or... Yeah, so the reason why I like cartoon and watercolor is your brain doesn't immediately go, oh, that's fake. But with photos, it can look more fake, more fakey. All right, so this, I'll select this, use this image. Should we get back to any questions about how to purchase? And then if we have more time, I'll try. We can. Yes. Okay, so some of you are thinking, like, this is really cool. Do I want to spend $13 a month? You may or may not want to do that. I think, Okay. and I don't know, is MidJourney better? Like, I'm not an expert at MidJourney. What I like about this is it's built in to my site. So this was a digital painting. This was the cartoon, this was the photo, and this was the watercolor. Okay. Um, so Heather says, as a lifetime owner of Divi, can I create a second website using what I previously bought with Divi? Yes. So you can, okay. with Divi, you can make unlimited numbers of websites. Un unlimited. Okay. Karen says, I bought the annual in August. What happens if I agree, upgrade to a lifetime next November? There well, you could upgrade now. You could, if you bought it in August, you can upgrade now, and you just pay the difference. I think um, let's go to Divi. No, I have to get back. Right. If you already bought in August and you want to upgrade, then it's only like 120 bucks, I think, when you upgrade already a Divi user. So you just pay this difference. So you get a discount price. And then that will give you a lifetime. Okay. Now Heather says, I'm using an old version of Divi. Can I still use the old version, or do I have to use the current version? And are there updated videos of the current version in the WCW that demonstrate how to use it? The website creation workshop and the website marketing workshop, I have all my own training videos on using Divi. So we have a, um, this is inside the website marketing workshop. I have a whole section on, you know, what is the Divi theme, pricing explained, how to install. Then there's a whole process that I walk you through how I built my recipe website. So I have my own training because I have my own style of doing things. So she's saying she has an old version of Divi, meaning when you come to appearance themes, it's like, let's see what version. I'm at 4.23.1. So if you're at an older version, if you buy the upgrade, you can then upgrade it. 
Okay. Um, Heather, hopefully that helps. Probably recommended that she does upgrade, right, just to get the current version and the current updates and make sure it's yeah. secure and all of that. Yes. And if you are okay. currently in my website uh, creation workshop, we can do more trainings specifically to what you're building with the um, with Divi if you want. So in, for my students in the course or if you're in the yeah, if you're in the website creation workshop, the website creation workshop club, I we we this we can go more into depth with each specific person. Okay. Now Mike mentioned that he bought Lifetime and is wondering if he should do when he logs in it gives two options if he should use the plugin or ah the great team. question. So what's the difference? I wasn't planning on covering that, so let me just think about how if you want to use it with a different theme, you would use the plugin. So let me think of how to answer this. I don't think we have a student who's doing that, do we, Joanna? I don't know of one off the top of my head. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen. So let me yeah. let me try to explain this so everyone can understand. So Christina's recipes, this whole website is using Divi. Um, ChristinaHills.com is using a different theme, but one page on it is using Divi. So when you purchase, you get the theme and the page builder comes together. You also get the plugin. This is for people who want to mix and match with two different themes. So you get all of this when you, when you sign up for their membership. You get all these different things. So you can mix and match. You get the extra theme. You get the page builder plugin. That's if you want to use Divi just on part of your website, not on your whole website. I would say for most people, are they going to want to just use the theme? Most people the are going to want to just use the whole theme. Okay, so when in doubt, probably go with that. Yeah. Okay. But some people, had... they like their site, they just want one page to use Divi. So you, there's so much mixing and matching you can do, and I don't want people to get confused. So for most people, mm -hmm. You'll just use the Divi theme and the page builder, and that's all bundled together. Okay. Now, we've had several people that have said they would love more Divi training. Um, and then Claudia was asking, if I have the lifetime Divi membership, will that always be up to date, or can I end up with an old version? It will always be up to date. You have to always look inside and see if there's an update available. So if it says update available, I don't have an example to show. You would want to update it. Uh, do you want? Do you have the link to get the Divi AI only? Wait a minute. Maybe it's yes. I can put that in the chat. Might be. Is it on up here? It is, it is. Yeah. yes. Okay. It's the bottom one. So, Divi AI. So, we'll put this in. So, if you just want the AI part, thank you for asking for my link. Christina'sResources.com forward slash Divi AI dash Cyber Monday. And I think, and then, so this is if you just want to get the Divi AI. You click claim this offer, but I'm already, you know what? Let me log in on a different file, new private window. This might be easier to show. Claim this offer, already a Divi user. You would select this if you already have Divi. And then you, they're going to ask you to log into the members area and then you would purchase. Okay. So Sky, Sky was asking, are those products free if you join? So it sounds like you 
you purchase a Debbie membership and then those products that you were pointing out are all included in the Debbie membership where it says all products. Is that correct? Yeah, where I've been hovering over here. So you'll get this okay. with whatever version you buy. So for the $67 or if you get the annual, the 187 the lifetime, this is what's all included. That's why they call it a membership because you get all of these things. These are the standard things plus whatever bonuses they're throwing in. Okay. Um, Deborah says, I purchased Divi January 2020, haven't used it. I paid $199. Do you think I still own it? I'm using the 20, using the 2020 version. Will my site look old fashioned? Uh, no, you can, you can update. Like, I think I create, I don't remember what year I created this. That would be good to figure out, but it's been a, lot, a, it's been a long time. So I picked mm -hmm. the design that I liked and then I just stuck with that. So it's really, how do you feel that it looks? You don't need to change designs. Like I picked this, this was at least two years ago that I decided to build this site. And I don't think it looks dated. I think it looks good. So it's just, it's just how you feel about it. And I know there's some students, okay. some of my students who are in my current program. So if you've got questions about this, you can put it in our private Facebook group. Um, if you are not in my program, um, you would go to website creation class.com if you've never had a website before that's for my foundation course and we're going to start in January or if you already know a website marketing workshop if you already know the foundations and you want to join my coaching program for the website marketing workshop you can come here and I'll just scroll to the bottom and you can, it's 98 a month. This is for my training. Or you can get two months free by buying the annual membership. So this is for my training. The website marketing workshop, website creation workshops coming in January 2024. If you already took my course before and you want to get in on the club, please email support at winter okay um christina d was saying with the divi ai link takes her to elegant theme site and not yours can you clarify that yeah please? um did okay let me copy it and so this elegant themes is the parent company so it's going to say elegant themes then it's going to say divi ai and so then when you click, you will be able to purchase Divi AI. That's for people who already have Divi. So you have to already have it. And I know their offer is really confusing. It's, a, it's an add-on you pay monthly or by the year. There's no lifetime version of Divi AI. Okay. And I just want to mention again, we have a lot of questions that have come in. So thank you for your patience okay. as we we go through them. Um, Kathleen says, I bought Divi, but how do I download it into the student area? Is that something she would submit for one of our, our uh, other webinars? Yeah, and I have it um, in the in my course. So if you're in my current class, you can, um, let me go to our Facebook group. If you're in our Facebook group, um, you can uh, in our Facebook group, you can ask the question in the group, in our private group. We have trainings. If you can't find it, we have trainings in the classroom um, for that. And let me try to find it here. So if you're, this is for people who are currently in my program, you can ask in the Facebook group and we can get you to the exact location in my course. 
So today's call, there's like this hybrid of people who are current students and people who are not students. So hopefully everybody can sort out who you are and stay on my email list. If you're not currently in my program and you'll, you'll get information of when I'm starting my January class. Okay. Um, <laughs> there, the questions just keep rolling in. So, okay. Um, okay, D, I sent you the link to Divi AI. Um, that's our link. So that link should be the right one. I, I think so for, Heather says, I think what we would need to do since this is a free training um, to the public, if you're in my course, then um, email support at Website Creation Workshop or post in the Facebook group and we can get you to where you want to be. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then um, let me get the website marketing workshop. If you've already know the foundations and uh, Marty is asking for this, I'll send it to everyone. So let me bring up my PowerPoint. Um, okay. Okay. Jenna says the bloom, and she says excess, but she I don't means know if extra. Is right. Extra. Yeah. Okay. Are they included with the lifetime Divi? Yes. Or is that a separate? It's purchase? included. It's included. Okay. It's included. Okay. So and that's. Jenna, in terms of. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Yeah, Jenna was just saying in terms of a blog, what extra does extra include? Um, okay, let me let me show you. Um, no, that's not where I wanted to go. It's just another version of Divi that gives you these different, like, it's like a magazine style. That's all. So these are all my different blog posts, if you've ever been to my blog. And it just, the Divi Extra um, just sets it up kind of magazine style. So this is today's call, getting started with a Divi theme. And then here's my link for the Cyber Monday. And so it just sets it up magazine style. But you can do similar things. Like this one is just regular Divi. And here I have recipes and more. See, and this one doesn't have a featured image, so it looks like that. Okay, um, now Judy says, if I use reg the regular Divi theme, can I just use extra for the blog? Probably, but you may not need to. So it sort of depends okay. how you want things to look. And Judy, if you're in my class, I can help you in one of our coaching calls. And D, there, okay. D there's no such thing as being way behind. Everybody moves at their own pace. So I want to okay. I want to show something yep. else. Um, Website5.com. I think this is okay. So I'm building a new site about uh, religion and spirituality, and right now looks like some images are missing. I'm not using the Divi theme. I may add it later. I'm trying to sort of decide how I want to organize stuff. And then I might add the Divi theme onto this later. So this, so again, um, there's sort of different approaches you can take to building your site. Hopefully that was helpful showing that. Okay. Um, 
Oh, so if you're in my course and you don't do Facebook, but you want to know if you're um, if you're in my course, um, we can. I don't know what Judy's question was, but we can get you. Judy, why don't you email support? Okay. And Marla said to those who haven't yet taken the website creation workshop, she says it is so worth the investment. So thank you, Marla. Um, Penny said, I absolutely love the freedom and flexibility of Divi. I had no website creation experience prior to taking Christina's course, and I used to spend thousands on website designers. Yeah, costs a lot. Um, this um, site I'm building, I'm, I'm a little shy about it yet because it's not perfectly done yet, but this is actually with the Sydney theme, and I'm probably going to mix Divi with the Sydney theme. But, um, and I don't have a domain name yet for it. So I'm, I'm building it in my practice site. That's how the website creation workshop goes. You get a practice site and then you get to move it into your own site. And I'll be in January because we're coming up on December. In January, I'm going to have some free calls to teach about the getting started with WordPress. Today was about Divi. Okay. Um, there was a question from, I think it was from Judy. Where is it? Yes. So, and I, I know more than one student, or I believe I've seen what this question come in more than once. But if they've bought Divi, they know they want to use Divi. They're going through the website creation workshop and they got to module six. Can they just dive in with Divi or do they need to go through the other like theme demos and different things that you have in there? You, um, you could dive in and and for those of you who are um, not in my website creation workshop um, apologies that my students are asking questions you could dive in it sort of depends upon you so some some people they work with a simpler theme first and then they move to Divi and some people just dive in Okay. Um, Christine, I know we've been going um, almost two hours. We've got loads of more questions, but I want to uh, just want to check what you wanted to do. Yeah. So I um, let me just for those of you who are in my foundation course, this is the uh, members area of my foundation course. If you come over to module six theme demos, you'll see all my Divi training is all here. So I have all these different videos on my training for Divi. So um, Karen is asking, how do you choose from all these different layouts? So let me go to the layouts. No, where are the layouts? How do you choose? That's a great question. So this is if I uncheck community, you have 2,000 total layouts. So don't look at this number. Look at the layout packs. So with a layout pack, so like if you picked Farmer's Market, it has, one, it has eight different designs with this layout pack. So you're really picking from 300, not 2,000. So if you like this look, there's a landing page, there's a home page, there's an about page, there's a donate page, there's a contact, there's a market and a blog. So with this farmer's market, there's a whole different pack. So let me go back to the layouts and let's click on health and fitness. And it takes a while. You click and you have to wait a while for it to think. So health and fitness, you've got yoga studio. So this is more illustrations, nutritionist, dentist, day spa. So yoga instructor. So this kind of narrows it down. So a Divi holistic healer. So let's click on this. And now there are 
um, seven different versions. So let's view the live demo. So if you like this, but maybe, maybe you don't, there's a landing page, there's a home page, you don't have to use all of them. Maybe you just like the way the home page looks, or maybe you like the way the about me looks. Or let's look at their service or services. So you're really just picking like a grouping. Does that make sense? And here's a dietitian. So you might be a health and wellness. Let's say you're a health and wellness coach. You're not a dietitian. You could use this. Even though you're not a dietitian, you just change it to health and wellness. And there's all these photos that come along with it. And maybe you don't want this one. Maybe you want something else. Does this make sense? Okay, Karen is saying this makes sense. But see how this has these nice little doodads? Like I'm telling you, your, your friends are going to look at you and they're going to be like, wow, you built that? Looks like you spent thousands of dollars. And maybe you don't have recipes, so you just don't use this. So you might pick this and decide, I'm only going to use the About page and the Contact page and the Services page. And maybe you're, you like the, so maybe you like the landing page or maybe you like the home page. Or maybe you don't like this home page and you just want to use the landing page. And you can combine them. So you might, you just want to have the look be somewhat together, but you could combine them. All right, so if anybody's in my current class and you've got more questions, if you're in my current course, ask them in the, uh, ask them in the course. I want to, the purpose of this webinar, and I know we've been going two hours and I'm, I'm thrilled that everybody is still here. I want to answer questions to help you know what you should buy. Yes, Karen, you can download you can uh, download these. Once you have an account, you would download them inside inside Divi. Inside inside, inside your website. Inside your website. Okay. okay. So like Sounds great. Let's go pages. I think I'll try this. Add new and um, let's see, dietitian layout example. And I'm going to click use the Divi Builder. And this might be a little slow. Build from scratch, use a pre-made layout, or clone an existing page. So if you've already got your site going, you can just clone what you have. But if you're going to choose a pre-made layout, then I want to find that dietitian. I think it was under health and fitness. Where was that dietitian one? Here it is. really like the way this looks. So now I'm inside my account, and I think I liked the landing page. Yes. Dietitian landing page, use this layout. Hopefully this will work on the live webinar. Karen, I'm amazed that it's midnight in France and you're still here. So this part's a little slow. Joanne, are there other questions I can answer? Um, yeah. yes, we've got loads of questions, so let's see. Yeah, we're going we're um, to end this pretty soon because we've been going two hours. Okay, okay. Do, you do you know, Mary was asking if you are on the Divi annual plan, will they notify you at the end of your year um, that it's about to expire? You know, renew? I don't know. I'm going to guess they'll automatically renew, but I'm not sure. Okay. So Mary, you could check with Elegant Themes on that question. And then Joel, um, Joel had a question about cartoons. Joel, yes, you can always going to ask Joel. You can always pick any design and then swap out your own cartoons. 
Okay. And I know like the yoga one has illustrations. All right, so let's just see how this looks. I'm just going to publish it as is. Um, Jennifer, the difference between pre-made and clone, clone would be I want to clone one of my own pages because maybe you've customized it to how you want it to look. So I'm using this just straight out of the gate, just inside my site. See, so I'm inside Christina's recipes and I picked this layout. Right, so I would change that to hi there, I'm Christina. I'd put a picture of me in here. And so this, I've just loaded it in, and then I can customize it to how I want it to look. But everyone's going to have their own um, taste and sensibility. See, my menus are still up here. This is just loaded this in. So that's, that's why you can look through these even before you've purchased. All right, Joanna, let's answer any more questions about the sale. We've been going for two hours, and then I think we will um, wrap this up. Okay. okay. Um, um, Jenna says, are the contents of the blog bundle worth the money compared to existing themes and add-ons? The blog bundle. And what's the difference between Divi Extra and the Divi blog bundle? I really, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. So is, are they talking about the... I'm guessing it's something that's on sale. Is there like a blog bundle that's on sale? Um, I think there are some of these bundles down here. There's the blog booster. Blog booster. Okay, I've had it for many years. I've never found the need for this. So... Okay. You know, it's $151. I mean, you could buy it. Yeah. I've never found the need for it. There's going to be a whole bunch of things you don't need. So okay. it so might be like and... amazing. But remember, everyone, this is also designed for, Divi is for agencies and freelancers. So these people are buying all this extra stuff because they need it. I've only once bought something extra from here because I needed like a, like a special kind of countdown. And to answer the question about the, um, where'd it go? No, no. You can use as many of these layouts as you want. Okay. I think who asked that question? Um, Jocelyn asked, can we download many pages coming from different Divi layouts? Yes, you can do that. I think I once, okay. I had a pizza one in here. I wonder if I still have it. And I decided it didn't look good. Or it didn't, it didn't match. And I didn't like the way, I don't know, maybe I deleted it. Oh, let me look. Maybe it's over here. Pizza. Because there's a pizza design. Yeah, I did this test. And I decided that I didn't like it. And it was too different than my regular look. It was too different. So that's the thing you want to think about. Like, this is nice, but it has a different feel than my site, which is lighter, and this is sort of darker stone pizza, so I decided it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna work. So yes, you can mix and match, and some mixing and matching, like this might work, this mixing and matching, but this pizza, I thought, you know, this doesn't, doesn't really match. So you can okay. mix and match. I think that Natasha did some mixing and matching, but I forgot to get ahead of time which layouts she used. See, like this looks a little bit different. 
So I think she did some mixing and matching. But maybe not, maybe not, because it has this spiral thingy. Now, I've seen Joel put uh, his question in, I think, about three times. Um, about but cartoons. But if there are any Divi layouts that are humorous or involve cartoons? Yes. Yeah, like, I don't know if they have any out of the box that are that way, but he could absolutely, like, well, let's type switch in it. Cartoon. No results. So I think when you're asking about cartoons, <coughs> excuse me, it's more your photos. So like that, um, you could, if you got Divi AI or if you have your own images, you could have all your images be drawings. Like, so is he a cartoonist? Is that what he's looking for? Oh, there was a cool one for dogs. Um, all right, where's the, let me go to, all right, Christina's resources.com Divi layouts. There was a dog one that you might like, even though, no, what would it be under? Let me just type dog. No, 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 this one, dog walker. So let's say you want a cartoon site. I like these little things, but maybe you're not a dog walker. You could replace your own pictures in here. So it's, you know, I think the colors are pretty nice. So let's see, is this home? Uh, landing. So you could put your own cartoons in here, but this is kind of whimsical. Okay. John was just asking, is it necessary to buy Divi AI or Divi Cloud? What are they for? Okay, let's, where do they have them all listed? You don't need Divi Cloud, save the money. Uh, Divi AI, I demonstrated that. If you want AI bundled inside your site so that you can use, and I did that for the when I sh hopefully you were on when I was demoing these different images. So you don't need that. Where'd it go? You don't need Divi Teams. You don't need Divi VIP. You don't need Divi Cloud. If you are a solo entrepreneur building a site for yourself, you don't need all of this stuff. If you are a web design agency, you're probably not on my webinar because I teach non-techie entrepreneurs. Maybe you would want it, but I've never gotten it. Unlimited. This is like having Dropbox. And this is for if you've got a team of people building websites for others. So you don't need that. And, you know, I don't think you need, I would wait if there's something like really specific that you need, then wait to buy it. But I just wouldn't spend a whole bunch of money on things you don't need. Divi AI might be the only thing. And to get started with Divi, you don't need this right away. So you could wait if you wanted. But if you're like, oh, I already have Divi, and gee, Christina's demo was pretty cool. Divi Cloud is for storage and organization. Yeah, I've not felt the need to get it. So access and organize and share your Divi assets on Divi Cloud. You don't want to, yeah, so this is, if you are building some, it's mostly for web designers. I have not found the need for it. I mean, if you want to buy it, buy it. I just, I might as well save money. I haven't found the need for it. Okay, Christina, we've got a lot of questions about Divi, Divi AI and such, but I'm not really seeing any other like questions about purchasing Divi. Yeah, and we have, um, this, we've been on this call for two hours, so I think we should wrap <laughs> it up. And um, yes. if you uh, want to join the marketing workshop, I can, I'll be doing a special training on Divi AI for all my current coaching students, uh, the beginners and the intermediates. I can do a training just on Divi AI. 
Okay. And if, if somebody's on here that's like a, a former student of ours and they're interested in coaching, would they email support yes. on their options? Yes. Okay. And if you can put that in, ch in the chat, support at WebsiteCreationWorkshop.com. Okay. 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 Um, we have built, can we use Divi by itself before we have built our website to produce images? Yes. You, you, you can, you, you know, you don't have to get Divi AI. So I didn't use AI for this image. And I took my own photo here. This is my own photo, but I thought, okay, let me see what Divi AI can do, and I added this in. But you can use stock photography. If you don't want to be bothered with AI, you can just use stock photography. And Annette's wanting to build a document, a, f a website for printed photo scanning, document scanning, digital photo organizing business. Is that something you could do with Divi? Say that again. Yeah, she's um, she has a printed photo scanning, document scanning, digital photo organizing business. Okay. Would she be able to use the Divi theme to build a site yeah. for that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, again, you can look at the layouts, or you can just jump in and buy it. You know. The lowest price point is the $67. Sorry, I've got way too many. The lowest price point is this one, which is $67. If you want to get in at the lowest price point, you can get in. Um, claim this offer is the lowest price to get you in. Then there's a whole bunch of other add-ons. And I'm guessing you can... If you're not sure if you want Divi AI, you could jump in with the builder, just the lowest price point, and then during the sale, which is still going on this week, you could add Divi AI later. If you want it, I'm not saying people need it. I used Divi for years without the AI, but I wanted to try it because I wanted to see what images it would make. And um, I haven't even demoed the text, so it'll also do text for you. It'll also do writing for you. And Christina, if they wanted to just try out Divi AI for a month, yes. you know, that would sweat like $18, right. they could do that and then cancel it if it's not like for them. Yes. Yes, you can. And if you um, want to join my website marketing workshop, I'm, tr I'm getting that link there, websitemarketingworkshop.com. That's for my training, and I have already lots of existing videos in here. That's for John, who had asked. All right. Wow, this was a great class. I guess I should have had a slide with all the different um, links. Oops, no, I want this. So here are my different affiliate links. I have this on my blog as well. So let me just go here and we'll put this in. Um, I want to thank, click on the Cyber Monday. Um, Thank you, Joanna, for assisting me today. Joanna is one of my um, tech teachers in my program. And here is the blog post that has all the different links. Hopefully, I helped everyone here sort out what they want. So here's a link for annual. Here's a link for lifetime. Here is Divi AI. kind of looks the same, but here's the Divi AI. You have to have a membership, and here's the links for all the different sales. And hopefully, hopefully, today's training will have helped you kind of sort out. And here's a little video explaining what I went through today 
and there's all these different links. So hopefully today's training helped you sort out what it is, what it could do, which one you might want to buy. That was the goal of the training today. All right, Joanna, I think we're done. I think so. We had a lot of people say thank you so much, always informative and interesting. Thank you, thank you. The presentation answered many questions I had when I purchased Divi this summer based on your recommendation. Awesome. So lots of thank yous. Awesome, awesome. All right, so that's it for me, Christina Hills. And um, thank you to Joanna and everybody else on my team on the back end. I couldn't do it without my whole team. And I am super excited to see what you create with Divi. And um, we will get this uh, replay up and we'll be emailing it out. And um, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.